Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's special adventure leads us to Alcaz Island. And as you can see, I'm actually uh, out here floating in the water because I'm going to be showing you something really cool. And uh, a lot of people probably don't know about. Uh, there is a hidden cave north of the island, and you have to swim underneath to get to it. Um, but it's pretty hidden and you would never know it's there unless you actually did a certain jewel crafting quest. Um, or, uh, yeah, so it was a Titan vault that was put under the island. So pretty cool. One thing cool about, uh, Alcaz Island is, uh, it's actually, um, uh, up the coast here of Theramore Isle off of the Dustwall Marsh. So yeah, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to get into the secret cave or, you know, quote unquote secret cave. And uh, we're going to be glitching in the aquarium and getting behind. So what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to be out here round up this way, um, up north of the island. And it's a little bit tricky because you got to follow a certain path. And I'm going to show you how to get in. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount up on our fathom dweller. And we're going to go underneath the water here. Now, I think it dismounted me. Gosh, dang it. There we go. Okay. Let me clear my screen. So hopefully you all can see what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to start heading straight down. Now you're going to notice a, uh, off the grid map here. So already it dismounted me. Ah, man, forgot I had my key bindings wrong here. So I'm actually going to put this over here. There we go. For the sake of the video, we're going to move my regular mount. And what we're going to do is we're just going to swim straight down. Now, the cave is actually under the rock formation here. You can see a rock formation. Now, this is actually the entrance to the cave. So what we're going to want to do is just swim straight down. And you're going to see a huge hole in the cave here. And this is actually the entrance to the cave right here. So if you shrimp, swim straight forward. There we go. We're officially in the Alcaz Island underwater cave. Now, this is really cool. If you look behind you, you can actually see a really uh, cool shot of the underwater here by Dustwall Marsh because, you know, usually the water is murky and brown and you can't really see anything. So this is a really cool shot if you want to get an underwater view. But we're not here for that. We're going to keep on swimming. And unfortunately, because we're in an underground and we're in a cave, we can't mount up. So we're just going to have to do a little bit of swimming here. In the meantime, as we're making our way over here and we're swimming, uh, if you guys have not yet joined the ATN Discord or the All Things Nerd Discord, as you'd say, please come join. I would love to meet you. I've been saying hi to a lot of new people. It's been awesome to say hello and to get video ideas. And we're just having a lot of fun in there. And uh, we've been watching uh, Submerged. Uh, he's been sharing his stream a lot on Discord and he's been figuring out a lot of cool things. Also been learning a lot of cool things from Hero and uh, some other newer people as well. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys to who has been making it a lot of fun in that Discord in there. Also, second thing, if you guys have not, please come sign up for the uh, the uh, the Sunday March with the gnomes. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be making level one gnomes. We're going to be uh, <laughs> basically invading Ogremar on the uh, Wild Grove server, the US seasonal server. And uh, yeah, it's going to be cool if you haven't done that yet. All the info is in a video on my channel, on the All Things Nerd channel, or also the uh, info is on the ATN Discord. So anyways, let's get back to the video. Now, what's really cool here is uh, you can see this is actually an old Titan Volt. Um, it has, this is a really cool atmosphere in here. We're directly underneath Alcaz Island, as you can see. And normally you're not supposed to get down here unless it's part of a, I believe, part of a quest chain, which I never did myself. But uh, also, if you remember in the lore, King Andrin, King uh, Rin was actually, uh, Varian Rin, was actually captured from the Defias Brotherhood, and he was actually placed in a prison cell below the island. So I'm assuming this was the prison cell here. And that's why it's also heavenly guarded. So, But uh, we're going to head on in, and let's go take a look inside. Now, this place is really cool, and it's actually a direct copy from another aquarium in the game. I don't remember exactly where. I'm assuming maybe in Northrend, but I know there's an direct copy of here. There's also a Vault Guardian, and you can see he has jewels on him. Like I said, a lot of this is actually with the uh, jewel crafting quest that you can do. I don't remember the exact quest name, and uh, maybe there's other stuff in here that I just didn't realize either, and maybe someone can correct me. 
But this is a really cool atmosphere place. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Yeah, if you've never been down here, definitely come check it out. Now, I know what you guys came for. You came to see some out-of-bounds stuff. So we're actually going to get inside of the aquarium over there. And we're going to go check it out. So the way you want to get back there is you want to jump over here. And there's actually a place where you can... Uh, oh, actually, let me switch my talent points from uh, Havoc to Vengeance. I keep forgetting to do that. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is come over here. And there's actually going to be a place right over here where you can uh, get underneath the ground here. Or I think you can just jump up. Oh yeah, yeah, never mind, never mind. You can just jump up. And then once you jump up, you should just be able to get out of bounds pretty easily there we go we're out of bounds we are officially out so this is really cool we got a shot over here sorry guys i forgot how to do that for a minute <laughs> it kind of took me off guard uh and then the everything out here is also explorable so you can jump out here as well and you can see we're actually clipping through the ground a little bit because technically we're underwater but we're just in another scene so let's go take a look around the reefs and everything here you can see some old uh, fish models swimming around in here. And you got a uh, underwater clam that's breathing bubbles. And if you actually make your way back this way, you can kind of see the uh, upside of the uh, vault over here. That you're normally not supposed to see. Now, I've tried to scale this mountain here, scale them mountains, and uh, it hasn't worked for me yet, but I'm trying to get up here so I can get on top of this place. But I'm thinking that if you get on top, you're just going to fall through the floor. Let me zoom out a little bit here so you guys can get a better shot of the vault. Oops. Don't go too far that way. You're gonna, your camera's going to clip out. Now what's cool is you got some cool rock formations back over here. This place reminds me a lot of uh, Vashir, the underwater place. That you do all the, you know, underwater zone quests. And uh, over here as well, you can see a shipwreck. Kind of like similar to the Deep Run Tram shipwreck. I wonder if that's the same model, actually. And what's interesting here is there's actually a fish plaque on the wall that you can see. That's kind of hidden. Normally you don't see that in game. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Little hidden thing there. Now, why that's there, I don't know. But I'm assuming this is another model from another ship that's in the game. And actually, right underneath, you can see some... Um, it looks like some... Uh, oh, okay. I thought those arrows for a minute, right? Doesn't it look like an arrow? Nah, it's just a uh, rope hanging from the... Uh, holding the cargo. Man, if you're looking for a cool underwater at atmosphere place, this is a, this place is awesome. There's going to be more, some more sea life over here. You can see some clams. See some more bubbles coming out of the ground of the rocks here. See the coral on the ground. Starfish stuck on the window. And you know what? I haven't jumped in here yet. And I'm, believe, I'm assuming you'll probably either DC or you'll swim because we're technically still in the water. And if you come back over here, you can actually see back in the map and get a good, cool little view going on here. Careful turning your camera, because uh, you will glitch out of bound there. And uh, it will actually show you the underwater part of Duswall Marsh that you don't want to be at. And if we come back here, you can kind of see the little edge of the world. Now, I haven't jumped out there yet in the void. Um, I'm assuming it's just going to take us back into the dust wall of marsh water because that's technically where we're at anyways. But yeah, guys, this is a really cool place. If you haven't been back here yet, I definitely recommend exploring this place. Uh, it's really fun to come down here. I'm going to do a little more exploring around here and see if I find anything else. And if I do, I'm definitely going to share on the Discord ATN channel. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to be making my way around. Uh, by the way, for those of you watching the video all the way through, I just want to say thank you um, for the views and the love and everything you guys have been supporting me and the channel. 
Um, I'm going to slow down a little bit with my upload rate. I was doing two videos a day and uh, that's just a lot. And I don't want to get burnt out to a point where, um, you know, I'm just uploading, uploading, uploading. I definitely want to be guys cool quality content. And I want to make sure that I'm showing you interesting places, not just Stormwind every single day. <laughs> Nothing against Stormwind. Just, uh, you know, I don't want to keep repeating the same thing. And uh, I want to make sure I'm keeping the videos interesting and fun and interactive. So I do got some other really cool glitches coming up that I was actually showing in the ATN Discord channel, and I'm excited to make some videos on that. Got some Dragonflight content coming your way, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So anyways, guys, as always, my name is Nathan. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.